The government's new anti-protest bill is the single greatest threat to civil liberties in Britain for a generation. That's why we have to stop it. We have to stop it because the right to peaceful protest is a fundamental human right. It's enshrined in the Human Rights Act and in every international human rights convention. All our rights and freedoms that we enjoy today have been won through protest. From the Chartists to the suffragettes, to the right to strike, the right to equal pay, the right to a free press, LGBT plus rights, rights for disabled people and women and black, Asian and other ethnic minority peoples. All these gains, imperfect though they are, have been won through protest. Protest is progress. There is no democracy without protest. It's the way we hold the rich and powerful to account. Democracy is about much more than elections every four or five years. It's about a constant process of dialogue, consultation, dissent and rebellion by people when they feel that injustice is prevailing. Without protest, we have tyranny. And many of the powers in this new bill are the powers that exist in tyrannical states like Russia, Hong Kong, Belarus and Myanmar. No, the police are not going to shoot us, but they will have incredibly sweeping powers. Powers to decide the start and finish times of protests, powers to determine the acceptable level of noise. They will have all these powers and many others. Um, they will have the power to determine whether we are causing a nuisance. Yet these terms are not defined in the bill. The Home Secretary will have the power to personally determine what constitutes a serious disruptive protest and she'll be able to do this without parliamentary approval. In effect she'll be able to criminalize any peaceful protest that she deems to be seriously disruptive. So all these terms in the bill are ill-defined if defined at all. They are subjective and therefore open to abuse. That is why we must protest against this bill. We must ensure that it does not become law. We must carry on the fight in the tradition of the people who went before us to maintain the freedoms we have, which include the right to dissent against government and other policies that we disagree. And I've got to say loud and clear that this bill is very clearly a direct response to the Black Lives Matter protests and the protests by Extinction Rebellion. The government wants to make sure that those protests cannot happen again. It wants to limit them, curtail them, constrain them, control them, to weaken them. Indeed, this bill is all about making sure that protest is tamed, weak and ineffective. In other words, so the government can carry on with policies that do not command public support. And indeed, this government has no mandate for the anti-protest bill. In 2019, the Conservatives one power based on less than 44% of the vote. They bagged 55 or 56% of the seats and 100% of the power. That is not democracy. That is not a mandate 
for this anti-protest bill or any legislation at all. We have to say loud and clear that the first past the post voting system is one of the reasons we're in this mess. If we'd had a form of portion representation, the Tories would not be in power and this bill would not be before Parliament. That is why fighting for a fair, democratic, accountable, proportional voting system is absolutely crucial, crucial in the fight against this legislation. So to all of you who have been protesting, thank you so much. Your voices make a difference. For all of you who have written to your members of parliament, who've marched in the streets, who've joined vigils, who have resolved to fight this legislation, thank you. It is our collective cumulative effort that will stop this bill. We together are stronger. And I say no to this bill today, tomorrow and forever. Thank you.